Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension. Maria here, your Sherpa for this read. I am going to be reading for the sign of Leo. Tell me about Leo. You got six cards. Bum, bum, bum. Sword in the Rose, the Grim Reaper. Oh my goodness, the energy overall has been um, people making space for new things prior to the moon on June 6th. Making room. And the overall energy has been clearing out relationships or situations or behaviors, habits that don't fit anymore. And as people are making this space, the people that were left behind, the relationships were left behind are missing that energy. Several of you didn't get closure to a past breakup, believe it or not. And uh, those folks are now feeling the absence of your energy and they're gonna come back. You, I feel, Leo, <laughs> being the strength sign, the lion moving forward. Uh, I, think you're, I think you're just moving forward. The majority, for the people I'm reading for, I think a lot of you are uh, making decisions to go forward. I think, personally, Maria's intuition. So I have the Sword and the Rose and the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is the relationship is over, no second chances. It's the Brittany, isn't it Brittany? No, it's, uh... oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Never, just never going back, never. Taylor Swift, never going back. So that's the, the song I'm hearing with the Grim Reaper. Never entertaining this again. And the Sword and the Rose is clarity, truth, um, so maybe you were trusting your gut when you closed this relationship out or you saw the red flags and you reacted to it and you didn't invest in it only to move forward. And now that you're out of it, you're learning actually more things about this relationship. <laughs> First one out is cassette. It's old thinking, old patterns, old behaviors, and this is outdated. It doesn't have space or um, it can't thrive in a new relation. It can't, the, the old energy can't, can't sustain in the new relationship. Um, <clears throat> it's replaying elements and events in their head over and over. So whatever you said, whatever you did, um, that was super like hitting them where it hurt. And I don't want, I don't want you to think that you're being mean, but you're being honest. And you might be dealing with somebody who also is struggling with an addiction. And you might've had a conversation about their behavior. And this actually created, um, like a, like it imprinted on their brain. So they think about this conversation over and over and over, especially even if it's been two years since you talked to this person, this is a regular conversation they replay over and over and over in their head. Um, Cupid Zero is, they say, love is coming, have faith. Um, it's on their, it's just on the horizon and it's a surprise. It's It could be an invitation. It could be impromptu or meeting somebody. Several of you, we are in wedding season. I feel like somebody's going to meet your soulmate at an upcoming event. And you're going to recognize this person. It's a mirroring effect. You're going to image. It's like you're going to recognize an old soul. It's like, there you are. I've been looking for you. I've never met him before, but that's the energy. Is like, I've been waiting for you for so long. It's, been, it's about time we get together. It's about time we connect. This is, uh, this is, um... I don't know, almost like you guys have a, a mirrored soul and you're reflecting a lot of the same wounds. If you went through a divorce, they did it as well. If it was a heartbreak, they did as well. If they have a challenging situation, they did as well. You're going to resonate. It's like like meeting, meeting like and you're healed. Neither of you are holding resentment towards the party. I think you've moved to a place of complete heal. I mean, I feel like you've completely healed or the situation. And I feel like several of these folks may be um, hiding their feelings for you. Uh, you. For a handful of you, I hear gaslighting, so be very careful because you might be picking up a similar energy of somebody that you just left in the past, very similar, has a trait. So you might want to reconsider that person if you feel that connection, that sense of intensity on meeting them, but then you recognize, oh, this is a lot of the similarities that I just walked away from. So you might want to reconsider that. However, 
Um, most of you are going to be talking a lot. You're going to see an increase in your communication back and forth after your initial meeting at this event, whether it's a concert or I feel like an event, an actual event, um, community event or a wedding. You're going to meet them and it's going to be like an instantaneous uh, traction. And again, we all know that could be good. That could be bad. We don't know. Um, you're going to have to just converse and get to know, get to know them. I feel like you're also going to get a old tape from this, whoever the, you're never going to talk to again from Taylor Swift. Um, never, <laughs> never. And that person might be texting you. That is the energy. I just did a reading and it was like, you're going on a date and your ex is going to like call you in the middle of it. Right. That's kind of the vibe I get or text you in the middle of the date and you're like, okay, there's a block or, and I mean, several of you got to be honest with you, the person that you're struggling with, with addiction, you may have blocked them or even possibly have a restraining order on them for stalking. I'm not even kidding. I just picked that up a random thought, but it came in like, Hey, I need to say it out loud. So, um, Leo, if you're dealing with somebody that has boundary issues and doesn't respect your boundaries the first 25 times you tell them just be mindful that they're going to reach out for the 26th time i have the chariot in reverse it's unsuccessful defeat lost the last minute negativity that's the x you're walking into a brand new chapter i can't make this up i have the fool is your first card out with a reverse chariot reverse chariot is no no looking back right you're moving forward. You're getting over and accepted this heartbreak. You've let go of the past, this five of cups in the reverse, meaning acceptance, hope for the future, change. Um, I have the justice with the strength and the four of pentacles in the reverse, which is this last person, if they do come and find you again, um, or it could be the red flag person who has ideas of what you could be to them, the new person with the red flags going off. Either one of those have the similar vibe of take, of greed, of more, of they might already be in a relationship or they're not completely straight with you on who they say they are. Um, they're materialistic. Um, so just be careful, uh, Leo, that several of you are dealing with really long, I don't know what another word, holder ons. They're holding on for dear life that you're going to take them back like this. This is a longstanding boundary. I feel that you put up Leo and they're not willing to accept. They just think that if they increase the volume, you're going to cave. If I just keep bothering this person or showing them more affection or sending flowers or sending notes or sending, calling them up, texting them. Um, if that's you or trying to get a hold of you on a, on a multitude of platforms that I feel like they are spying on you. This is kind of a scary area. Just keep it real. This, this small group, small group, don't, don't panic y'all. That's, but I just need to share it with one person or maybe five total. Tell me more, this fool, tell me about this fool. I feel like you're jumping into a new chapter. You're whittling down, um, your options and you're not accepting anything, including exes that lack gratitude, that are thankless for your energy, that don't appreciate you, that don't show you support. You're walking away. You're not even spending 10 seconds with them. You're closing that chapter. Tell me about the fool. I have the Ace of Pentacles and it's in the reverse. So prosperity without happiness, meaning you could go back to the past out of comfort, but it's not what you're longing for. I feel like this, I wanna hear about this Cupid's arrow because I wanna know, and the Eight of Anxiety, or excuse me, the, <laughs> the Eight of Anxiety, that's about right. The Eight of Swords in the reverse is freedom from anxiety, freedom. You're free, you're free to choose whoever you want. You're independent, you're single. Um, they got the tower in reverse. This person, like, seriously, I'm ready for something new. I am asking spirit, show me something new. And this person keeps showing up in my reading. They want, you know, they, it's continued to oppression. If you go back to this person, it's continued. It's the same is the same is the same different day. What you just walked away from the fighting, but it's almost like super comfortable and the level of fight, like they miss you, but they miss the, it's the toxicity. I think they enjoyed and I feel like you're sitting in the Grim Reaper. Like, just remember, these things were seriously, like, clearly warnings for you to move forward because you're not entertaining this, regardless if this is a soulmate or not. This person hasn't elevated. All right, spirit. <clears throat> we're ready for something. I just pulled the five of wands fighting. We're ready for something new for Leo. Tell me about something new for Leo. 
What's going on that's happy, that's positive? Five of swords in the reverse. Strength is tested. You're approachable, fair, assertive. You're healing from this. You're getting over this resentment, I feel. You're letting go of this. You're releasing this. Tell me more for Leo, positive. The page of swords ugh, and the knight of swords. You got a lot of like fearless, ambitious, cooperative, logical, skillful, brave, clever. Whoever's going to come in and talk to you, whether it be new or old, it's going to take them a lot of strength because I feel like um, they're guarded from their own past. It's that mirror. It's that same energy that I was feeling. If you meet somebody new at a event, this person is also just as guarded as you are. How's that? They're recovering as well from the past. They're trying to have, be fearless, be, be brave, be ambitious to come and talk to you, to get your phone number, to ask interest. This is a king of swords, honest, upright guy, um, precise, truthful. Um, this is somebody very right brain, or excuse me, left brain, but type A thinker, overthinker. Um, I do have the lover, so it is an orchestrated uh, relationship that's coming out. And it's celebration, it's um, inspiration, motivation, love, beauty, commitment. It's spirit saying you're gonna be very like-minded and attracted to this person. And you both have been hurt and wounded. It's almost like you both, like spiritually, I get you guys showing up in bandages, like you've been through a lot. The, the wounded warriors come to mind and you are beyond the 10 of swords. You put that behind you, you're recovering, you both are recovering, that's the vibe I got. That's this, the wounded warriors. So it's like a rebirth of, of love, the, even the capability of opening the heart to something new. You both have recovered from this, just this war that you went through and you're not looking back and you're moving forward. For those of you that this resonates and you're taking advantage of the situation to get to know this person. And Cupid's arrows, Cupid's fingerprints are all over this saying, I got you. I'm going to, I'm going to carry you the full length of this relationship where previously this back forth arguing fighting doesn't, didn't produce anything, but more arguing and fighting. Tell me more. I have the sun and the six of wands. So I think, you know, spirit is saying two things to me. One is if you stay in the situation, you're going to get the same old, same old, right? Well, this is the happiness you've been looking for and to be celebratory and, um, rejoiceful. Like it is something you want to stand on the mountaintops and say, I have survived. <laughs> I'm a survivor. That's the vibe I get. And it's like success lies ahead of you. If you keep to the path, that's the story I hear. So if you keep diverting and going back, trying to rescue this person from their addictions and from their lower vibrations, that was never your job. Your job was to awaken them. They were, they need to do the push up. You can't do their push up for them. Tell me more. Tell me about Leo. Leo, you are strong, but you're supposed to carry the message, not the alcoholic, right? And so that's the vibe I'm getting, the temperance and the hierophant. You needed balance in that relationship for it to sustain, and it lacked it. It was one-sided. You were the giver. They were the taker. Sorry, cross-watcher, but I call it as I see it. And this long-standing relationship that you wanted, this one can and is balanced to take it to the, to the end. I'm not even kidding. This is your boundaries, your beliefs, your... Your understanding of what like cheating is. And I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep hearing emotional cheating. Well, she or he, she was talking to other men and that was emotional cheating or take it for the men. Like she, well, he was talking to these women online. That was emotional cheating. So whatever it was, it wasn't okay. So it's not okay regardless if it's quote unquote okay in the dating rule etiquette book. It doesn't matter if your partner is not okay with it um period so that's like the imbalance was all over the map all over the map with you two the previous and i feel like you guys are just fighting to get your points across lots of time and energy wasted and changing somebody else rather than just walking the hell away this is could be third parties it could be it's just loss it's recovery from this this thing hurt shattered your heart because you invested so much and none of it came out this other person, um, this person that you're meeting is sad in their own heartbreak. That's one of the things you have in common. And they're an overgiver. They're just like you. They overgive to this relationship, Leo. Um, and I feel like they're coming with like 
answers because they've done the work. Like you guys can actually have a conversation about values, morals, integrity, tradition, family, that all of that. And this person is going to be like on your page, like writing right alongside you in their handwriting, all the things that they want out of a relationship as well. That's why this is the Hierophant is written all over that. Tell me more. And if there was a card that I would put on there is the Hierophant and the Temperance, whatever it was. Yeah. In, in the upright, this means wishy-washy back and forth. In the reverse, it's um, kind of like chaos, inflexible, imbalance, overwhelmed, disorganized. I feel like that's also the person that you walked away from. You may feel like that. You might actually feel imbalanced or chaotic or unstable. But I feel like you're walking into a season of like smorgasbord. You're going to have an opportunity to date some folks. So this cards are telling me you're ready for a, a level up in this relation or in your light, love life. And this person's going to match it. This other person back, God, they're just pulling on your energy. Whoever the hell this was that you walked away from is persistent as heck. This is the Eight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. They're going to rush in and tell you how they are feeling left out in the cold. They want you back. This, this may be three or four new attempts at trying to get your attention. Whoever's trying to hold on for dear life, get off my reading right now. I have the Knight of Pentacles with the Six of um Six of Swords. So this person, okay, two things. I'm not talking about this person anymore. I'm done. Done. Um, this, this Knight of Pentacles is you moving forward in search of your commitment, right? It's you putting energy forward, walking away, leaving it. And it was super hard for you to pull away. It's like gum in your hair. Have you ever had that? It's how it feels. It's just like you have to methodically pick it apart to decide how you're going to get this clump out of your hair and next to your scalp without cutting all your hair off. That's the vibe I'm getting from these two cards. So together, you're going to have to take a methodical approach, very slow, to determine what you want next. Because you are still in the recovery phase or whatever this is. I don't care if it was two years ago you walked away from your last person. There are some residual hurt feelings and reluctancy to trust anybody going forward. That's this vibe. Why should I? I mean, you might have had a lot of situationships, not judging. Trust me on that one. But I do feel like you are definitely taking your time to examine what you want. I have the death in the reverse and the 10 of wands in the upright. So this person that's going to come back who created nothing but pain in your backside um, wants to have a rebirth and this is stagnation. They're stuck. There's no change happening, no inner work happening. Nothing's changing. They're going to just go grab a beer and they're pretending that they're okay. Whatever situation they chose or they maybe are sitting by themselves, I have them completely imbalanced, fully of tense, anxious, can't sleep at night. The, um, the night of wands in the upright is my Saturday night, fun, passionate, you know, good time. This is evil minded with nothing but ill intent with this wonderful page of pentacles. So they might be coming in asking for a new opportunity to restore this relationship. But again, motive on the mind of just restoration, no change. And they know there's no change. Nothing's going to change. And if they left you for a third party, they haven't changed. The, the narrative has not changed. The landscape is exactly the same as you left it. Um, and I feel like even if they say they're single, they're lying to you. They maybe are on a break, but this there's a longstanding relationship in and out, whatever the hell that is over there. But this person is going to come and tell you they're single and they're not at the end of the story. You're not moving forward. No, not with that person. Um, you find them arrogant. You find them obstinate, stuck in their ways, defiant angry, kind of, mm, mm, you know the word I don't want to use. And then we have delays. Um, so this whole thing might be delayed. It's definitely disorganized. I think this person is going to rush in possibly, maybe even after a couple of drinks. Anything else? Yeah, they're not going to be honest. Yeah, they're self-destructive. They're weak. They don't have any clarity. They just might rush in out of feelings. Like I said, after a couple of drinks, and it's the double in reverse. You're recovering from this. You're released from this bondage. That's the first thing I thought of is I'm free. I'm free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. I'm free at last. You're sitting in the Nine of Cups. You are the Queen of Pentacles, and you're the Empress. So I feel like these cards represent who your, your energy right now. And male or female, the Empress is just somebody who's taking charge right? The emperor has more of a warlike feeling. And I don't feel that like this is, you're not even, you don't give two squirts 
whether or not even if you engage in war, you're not even showing up with that much energy. You're just defensive. You're just protective. That's the energy. You don't want to see this or talk to this person. I don't think you want to restore this relationship. You don't care what they really have to say. I think you blocked this person. You might even have a restraining order on this person. True story. So that being said, Leo, this is your reading and it's clear warning from your divine that the past may not be an opportunity. This person's insecure and hasn't elevated and you're ready for something different and you have something different coming in and it looks like it could be a soulmate. Tell me, and you're going to be talking to them a lot. Good for you, Leo. Give me an angel number for Leo. This week, I'm pulling five names out of a bucket for a free reading. If I call you or if I put the name on the community um, tab, you must be subscribed. Only one entry uh, per subscribe member per contest, and I'm pulling five 30-minute um, free readings, and I will be announcing them on the community page this week. So if you're interested, put your name in the comment section. If this resonated for you and you'd like more deets, please email me at fourthdimensiontarot at gmail.com and you and I will schedule for a paid reading. You have to pay me for the reading. Yes, the free are over here, but if you're interested, email me. Here's your number, 66. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. I am positive. Stay positive light. Gratitude is your attitude. And I think... At the end of the day, you're going to be very pleased with the next chapter that's coming in because they're genuine and they're showing them their true self. You have a lot in common with this next person, Leo. Very excited for you. Very, very excited. So if you, on your way out, if you haven't already done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It helps me grow my channel. Cost you nothing. Um, and if you do hit the notification button, you'll be alerted when I upload new content so you don't miss anything. Love and light to each and every one of you. Take care. Bye.